Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Anandita and my channel is about beauty and lifestyle. I always talk about things which will add to your inner beauty, which will add to your outer beauty as well. I always believe that if you just modify yourself, you can actually be more presentable in office, um, in a social gathering or like whichever place you just go to, just modify yourself a little bit when you are going outside home. Even if, either, if, even if you are with your family members, even there you need to be a little careful when you are talking, right? There is a way of talking, right? So you will definitely not talk um, the same way with an elderly person or the way you talk to a child. So you will not talk to the same way, you know, if, uh, if, if you're talking to your boss and like if you're talking to your friend. There is way, right? Different ways are to be applied when you are talking to different people in a different situation, right? Especially when you are in office. There are few things, few phrases which you should use to sound a little more professional, to sound a little more energetic and positive. And when you are in a workplace, it's very important to sound professional. It's very important to sound positive and energetic. So there are a few phrases which you, you should never ever use and there are a few things which you can actually use to replace your negativity. I mean when you have to say no, you will say no obviously. But can you really say no to your boss if you are assigned to some work? There is a way to say that. In today's video, I'll discuss about few things that you should say to avoid an unpleasant situation. And if you're new to my channel, without wasting any further time, just like, share and subscribe. And always hit the bell icon to get the notifications of all my upcoming videos. So I'll actually give you 10 tips about how you can uh, improve your uh, language and body language. Definitely. So number one, if you are given a task and maybe you, you have just wrapped it up and you're going home and obviously you will say, no, it's just impossible. Can you really say, oh no, I can't do this. It's impossible. Of course you can't, right? It's your boss. So what you have to say is, mm, I wish I could do this. Or I really have an emergency and I have to rush. If you can give me some time, can I really do it after I reach home? Can I work from home? Or can I do it on Monday, please? Like if it is a weekend or something. Or can I do it tomorrow? Or um, if you allow me, you know, I can find out a friend or a colleague who can do this for you. Could you please excuse me for today? So instead of just saying no, you're replacing your no with so many other words which will make you sound polite, which will make you sound humble, which will make you sound more professional and presentable. And of course, it will not imply that you are unwilling to do it. The meaning would be so obvious that you have something else to do. Hence, you are asking for some time. You are asking for an alternative. So that will actually make it more presentable. And obviously your boss will not be offended. If you are in office, guys, I believe you should never say like, don't do this to anybody or like, don't do that to anyone. When you are in office, you can replace these kind of uh, sentences with um, can you please do this or may I ask you to do this or I'll be really happy if you can do it this way. See these kind of sentences, right? You can practice these sentences at home, okay? Otherwise, when you are in office and if something is actually emotionally bothering you, your disgust will come out like, don't do this, don't do that. Don't say that. Just replace it with, may I? Could you please? May I suggest you to do this in another way? Like that, be more professional. And if you be like that, definitely you will be more presentable. It will not just uh, make you sound good. You know, people will be more comfortable with you. Be it your boss or be it your uh, your colleagues, your uh, juniors or whoever it is. If you just change the way you talk, you will definitely be a person whom, you know, people would really love to approach. And that's very important when you are in office. If you notice something which is really horrible, can you actually say, oh my God, this is so bad. This is horrible. You can't say that, right? So 
Here's my tip number three. If you see something which is really horrible, you can't simply expect. How could this happen? How you can say is, it would have been better if it was done in this way. Or, I honestly suggest you can change it and make it look like this. Take care. So, you know, whenever you feel like saying something, just do not say it immediately. Take some time. Because your negative emotion, I mean, when your negative emotion comes out, it sounds really horrible. You understand only when somebody else talks to you in that way. Otherwise, you would never, ever understand how bad, how rude you sound when you just talk like this. So always change it in a presentable way. Just try to sound more humble in office. My next tip. In a professional space, always avoid a direct question. Like, why did you do this? Instead, you say, let's discuss. Or, may I know why you did this? Or, could you please tell me the reason? The, not reason, sorry. Could you please tell me the reason behind this? Or, can we talk about it? When you have some free time, like that. Okay, avoid direct question always in your workplace. That will make you sound rude. That will sometimes make you sound a little bit bossy. And that's really unpleasant. Next tip, guys. If you want someone to do something for you, do not say directly, can you just do this for me? Or like, hey, will you do this for me? Instead, just be a little humble, little polite, with a smile you approach saying, can you please do this for me? I'll be really happy if you can do this for me. May I ask you to do this? Would you mind if I ask you to do this? Like that. Be humble, be polite. Next tip, guys. Being humble doesn't mean you have to be low. You know, that particular voice modulation is what I'm talking about, which will make you sound humble and polite. However, not low, not a person who does not have energy, you know. So try not to be rude. However, uh, just maintain a very nice tonality, a perfect voice modulation so that you sound humble, but you do not sound low. You do not sound rude, but at the same time, you should not sound a person, you know, who can always be taken for granted. And that's very, very important. Always maintain this very carefully. Guys, next tip. And this is very important. Perhaps the most important is what I feel. I mean, um, I have always maintained this. Okay. So... You know, guys, if you are in an office, there are so many people and it's our tendency that we kind of uh, do backbiting, gossip. I suggest, guys, do not take part in gossip. If you have an issue, just forget about it. You don't really have to discuss, okay? Because um, if you are discussing it with somebody, that somebody will definitely tell this to somebody else and finally it will reach your boss or that person whom you are actually talking about and that will create a very unwanted kind of a situation that might affect your promotion that might affect your increment so guys do not take part in office gossip this is something very popular 90 percent of people will do this but i suggest try and avoid do not take part in any kind of gossip. And if you are the unlucky one, then, you know, finally, it, 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 it may be like, okay, she is the one who told. He is the one who told. He only started. She only started. If you are an unlucky person, then definitely you will fall into that trap. So always say, tata, bye-bye, namaste to office gossip. Do not ever take part in this this will, or rather this can, ruin your career.
trust me. Next tip guys. Try and avoid saying, I'll try. If you are asked to do something, don't say I will try because no one can actually see you trying. Always say, I will do this. I would love to do this. Oh, I'm so happy that I can do this. Okay. Don't ever say that I'll try to do this. You really do not sound good. You rather sound someone who does not have confidence. And guys, like I said, no one can actually see you trying. Okay. So if you just say, I will try, it seems that you're not really interested. Okay. Maybe you're not that person. You actually want to do this. You actually want to show people that, okay, even I can do. So just say, I will do. I can do. I'd be, I'd be really happy to do. I'm glad to do this. I'm lucky that I've got this opportunity. Like that you say. Don't ever say, I'll try. Because no one can actually see you trying. Yeah? Don't say, I'm trying or I'll try to do this. And of course, um, yeah, my last tip, guys. Um, always, like when you are in office, you know, there are people like, Till now, I, I talked about things which you can maintain or you should maintain. Now, guys, apart from this, you know, in office, there are so many people. And you do not know what is the situation that they are in. One of your colleagues or um, maybe your boss or just a close friend or like it could be anybody may be rude to you. Okay, maybe in one fine morning, you just come to office, you say good morning and the person doesn't really reply. Or even if the person replies, it's like not so energetic, it's bad, it's rude. Or you feel that a person is simply trying to create an argument with you. Guys, always understand that person might be under some kind of pressure that you can't even imagine. So always, when you are in office, forgive and forget. Do not take things seriously. I mean, that kind of emotional things, okay? A person may talk to you badly. Do not feel bad. Your boss may sound rude to you. Always understand. Your boss is working under tremendous client pressure. His pressure is more than yours. That's why he's just trying to put something on you. Okay, think that way. In order to be a good person, in order to be a genuine, humble person, a person who is ready to help, a person who is a friend of all, just change the way you think, especially when you are in office. It's not possible always to think about others. However, just have that um, empathy in your voice. Okay. And this is this does not happen. You know, like one fine morning, you just wake up and you see that you have actually changed. You're not talking the way you were talking yesterday. No, you have to practice. Practice empathy. This is very important. When you are stepping out of your family, out of your room, I would say, just be empathetic towards people. Always think or practice thinking that they are in perhaps worse situation than how I am. And that is making them talking to me like this. So do not be rude. Do not reply rudely to a rough comment. Okay. Just forgive and forget. This is the strongest mantra to get success in office. So guys, I'll just sum it up. Do not indulge in any kind of gossip. Always forgive and forget. Induce some kind of empathy in your tonality. Sound genuine. Sound humble. Sound a person who is always ready to take responsibility, ready to help. But do not be the person who is always taken for granted. Do not ever sound low. You have to be confident and that should be 100% or even beyond 100% when you are in your workplace. Always be positive. Think positive. Practice positivity. The moment you are stepping into your office, just focus. That's another very important thing. Just focus. Okay. So with that, I'll end today's video, guys. If it has been helpful, just like, share and subscribe and always hit the bell icon and you'll get the notifications of our my upcoming videos. 
so guys if you are looking for anything anything in particular just let me know in the comment section i will definitely cover it and thank you my viewers thank you my subscribers i love you guys a lot it's just because of you that i'm doing my videos you guys inspire me like anything thank you for being with me always smile be confident be empathetic towards people and with that i'll end today's video so take care bye bye